So classroom exercises in section 5.1. Let's try number three. Okay, we've got a parallelogram and we've got to find x, y, and z. So, and all we're given is 65 degrees. So we use the definition of uh, parallelogram. If these are parallel and this is a transversal, what kind of angle pair are these here? Notice they're between the parallel lines, their interior, and they're on the same side of the transversal, so these are same side interior angles. And what do we know about same side interior? Um, you should remember that they're supplementary. So these must add to 180, so this is a 115. Okay. Um, and then by the theorem, we just proved theorem 5.2, opposite angles are congruent. So that's 115 also. And you could also know that these two must be supplementary. Now if these are supplementary because they're adjacent angles around a point on a straight line, you're on one side of a straight line around a point, and the angles must add up to 180. So that's 65, okay, so that's number three. Now let's try number four. So number four, Okay, so we got to find x, y, and z. Now some of this is easy because opposite angles are congruent. So that's 56. And then we could go ahead and use triangles here. We know the angles of a triangle add up to 180. The angles interior to a triangle, of course. And so this plus this plus this must be 180. But um, you can add these up, subtract from 180, and let's see, you're going to get uh, 85, 80, 84, 39. So that would be 39. But since these are parallel lines and are transversal, these are alternate interior. They're between the parallel lines, but on opposite sides of the transversal like that. If this is 39, that must be 39. So it can help to break it out to make sure you're not messing it up and doing something screwy in your head. Make sure you're actually dealing with alternate interior angles. Because this angle is exactly right here. This one is here. And then this one is here. And if we look at this, that, and this, two lines that are transversal. This one is here, but this one you see is the 85, and so this must be 85 also. All right, this number four. Number five, we've got Okay, now, if, uh, if we look at the 110, it's made up of these two. If we extend them, we've got two lines. So remember, these are vertical angles, so they're congruent. So this is 110 also. Okay, and then this is, these are two supplementary angles. If you have two angles on one side of a straight line around a point, they're supplementary, so that must be 70. And then 
this is the triangle, and the angle is added to 180. That's 140, so this must be 40. And then the other angle we need to get is up here. So notice that what the 70 is made of these two lines right here. But this one goes up. Remember, these are parallel because it's a parallelogram. So these are congruent. So that's 70. All right. So that's how we use our theorems in this stuff. Good.